Horrors and Chance, Homo Suji Rex, and this is what happens when you let a maniac build a factory. Satisfactory gameplay by the channel, let's game it out. Enjoy some actual normalist gameplay at first before we click it up a notch and make some comically long conveyor belts. But hey, they work. Satisfactory, okay, so this is like what is a, a factory simulator type of game? Okay, so like Factorio, but I guess with modern engine or something like that. I don't know. So let's watch this one. Remember, if you like my reaction, don't forget to like, subscribe, so I know which type of videos to react more. Check out the reaction and take the link in the description. Check out the cards, check out the in cards, and yeah, let's watch it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Game It Out. I am Josh, and today we are checking out Satisfactory. Coffee Stain Studios, thank you so much for the key. So this is kind of a like factory building assembly line kind of game. I think the first thing we're gonna try and do is just discover the game together, understand how it works, and then we'll do the thing that we always do where we try to play the game not exactly as intended. So let's get right into it. New game, session name, probably a mistake. Ah, uh, we appear to be in space. And just like every factory job starts, you get dropped out of orbit onto a planet. Hope I can breathe. I'll be taking this flashlight with me. Hold it as awkward as possible. Okay, so we got our scanny gun where we just hit a button on it and it scans. We need to find some iron okay. ore. I'm holding my little taser rod and looks like we've got some, uh, looks like the locals are not exactly excited to see me. So we're gonna take care of them for, oh, 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 oh. Remember that part about working in a factory where you have to fight? Oh, jeez. Okay, that's one of you. This is like <laughs> factory of 3D or something. Oh, 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 oh. I got you, all right. I'm also picking up leaves whenever I can. I'm not really sure what they're for yet. I'm sure it'll reveal itself to me. Oh, pale berries, huh? What can I do with this pile? Can I... Okay, it's inside me now. Gave me a little health. Hmm, what might this be? Oh, is it a creature? Oh, oh, it's a creature. Oh, oh I didn't like, oh, all right, fine. Look, sir, I just want to start my factory and you're stopping me. I'm looking at my compass there and there's a little icon telling me where to go. Oh yeah, we're getting better at this. I'm not afraid of these things at all anymore. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, now I got a taste for blood. Why Come here, you. Oh, I love it. Big old arms, <laughs> tiny little hawk face. Come here, if I just keep hitting this guy in the butt, can I take him out? Oh yeah, are you stuck on the landscape. Come here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This feels kind of bad actually. It's, this is like a factory building game and I've- Yeah, so he says enjoy some actual normalist gameplay at first. Mm, I don't see it. <laughs> so there's, there's kind of like Factorio but in 3D or something. And if there are active hostile animals on the planet, how does it make sense to drop this guy with this kind of a weird electric thing? Wouldn't you- it would be better to have a gun or something? This is like a zapper, really? Turned it into like innocent creature torment. Oh, well now I feel bad. Oh, oh. <laughs> there he goes. Whoa. Oh, hey, look at that. You can bounce off this dude. Oh, this is what? gonna get me killed. That's all that's gonna happen here is Somebody this is just, to... this is how I die. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, my legs. Oh, I deserved it. Hey, what's this? <laughs> You're lucky up there that I can't just kill you. I guess we should make a factory. Okay, so we need to get iron ore. So I'm using my scanning thing. As you can see, it's going far and wide. It picks up a bunch of ore everywhere. We're gonna go to the one heading this direction, 130 meters away. Eh, eh, give me it. Eh, eh, eh. Uh, uh, ah. Okay, let's build the hub, the heart of your factory. This is where you complete fix-it milestones to unlock additional blueprints of buildings, vehicles, parts, equipment, etc. Okay, well, sure, we'll put it right here. It's probably a horrible spot, so let's do it. Done. Ta-da. Check it out. Okay, friends, guess what? It's time to access the hub terminal. I see, so we've got all these milestones. We need to be able to upgrade this all the way to get to tier one. And it looks like we're eventually going to make a space elevator. Okay, we're selecting hub upgrade one. It needs some iron rods. To make iron rods, we need iron ingots. To make iron ingots, can just make them because I have iron ore. Oh, there you go. You just hold down the button. And I just crafted forever. Now we need 10 iron rods. So that's what I'm making now. Take those 10 iron rods. Put them back over here. Have 10 iron rods. Upgrade hub. Done and done. Things are starting to look a little bit spruce around here. And okay, now we're selecting hub upgrade two, which requires iron plates, iron rods, and and wire. So now it's time to build an equipment workshop. Put you right, I don't know, here I guess? I don't know what makes sense. I guess comparing with Factorio, this is gonna be a bit linear. In Factorio, you have to think of lots of shit, like what you're gonna build, right? And how you're gonna require certain resources and for that resources, what you need to create and all that with a you know, electric grid, how much power, what it requires. This is like upgrade to this, this to get a tier one, tier two, that type of thing maybe. 
minutes. Okay, so here's our equipment workshop. We're gonna build a portable miner, but to do that we need copper wire and cabling. So we're looking for copper ore now, so we're gonna switch our scanner over here to copper. Ta-da! Finding a lot of iron ore here. Still looking for the copper ore though. Limestone? Okay. This looks like something beautiful. Sulfur, huh? Alright. I'm sure all this stuff will come in handy. Ah, copper. Whack, whack, whack. This is one of those games where you kind of have to start out slow, where you're mining everything yourself, but as you start to automate everything, it gets a lot more exciting because you spend most of your time just trying to find ways to streamline the process, which I guarantee you is more fun than it sounds. Now that we have enough copper, we can go back and actually start crafting some other stuff. Now let's make some copper copper ingots. As I make them, you can see how much wire I can make. Okay, so now let's make some wire. Boop, 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 boop. So now we're making the iron rods. Now let's go ahead and take a bunch of that stuff, put it into this guy here. 10 of those, 10 iron plates, 50 copper wire, upgrade. Oh, well, would you look at that, huh? Okay, hub upgrade three. Gonna need a couple more things. Our scanner can now search for limestone, which is nice. But the first thing we're gonna do is now that we have our copper, we can make one of these portable miners. First, let's make some cabling and done. Now I'm gonna take my portable miner here, which is <laughs> covering my entire view. I think it goes right here, right? That's how it goes. You just gonna go to town on it? What are you gonna do? Uh-huh. Oh yeah, there it goes, there it oh, goes, okay. there it goes. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that butte, huh? Well, you just keep doing what you do. I love you. So because we have limestone, we can go ahead and start making concrete right now. We need 10 of those. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now we'll make more cables. And now I need to make reinforced iron plates. This is a game of recipes, right? So to make the reinforced iron plates, I'm going to need the regular iron plates, but also 24 screws. So I need two more iron plates. There's one and uh, that's more than two. But I also need 75 regular iron plates. So let's go ahead and just make a ton of ingots here. And I can make a smelter, which I'm going to use to make ingots faster here. For now, I'm just going to put this thing right here because that makes no sense but whatever so if i tell it i want iron ingots and i give it all of my iron but now it's gonna need power so first we got to make biomass oh, okay. out of my leaves here good thing i was picking those up the whole time and i'm gonna put my biomass over here into the biomass burner have some biomass so now that is burning we're gonna turn it off for now because it's not actually connected to anything okay so we're gonna take our power here oh i can just run it straight to this perfect there we go so now i've connected these fog? two What's things that? like that now if i'm led to believe correctly that means when i turn Turn this guy on. It's running some power now, and this guy is running, and it should be taking the ingots I gave it. Perfect. It's just making ingots for me. Gonna make some screws. Now I can make some reinforced plate. And now I have enough stuff to upgrade this guy again. Upgrade the hub. Ta-da! Look at that. Look how complete. So I do feel like Factorio a bit, right? You have to make different things that create power and all that before you upgrade, I guess. Right, you have to feed that and make sure that there is enough resources for it. This thing is looking, huh? I've actually got like a living quarter now with two beds. I don't know if I can use any of this stuff, but I'm glad it's here. So the thing I want to figure out is how do I get this to get over to this without me having to do anything? I'm going to bring out my little tool here, take it back build our smelter right here like this so that the input is on the left and the output is on the right. Ta-da! We're gonna build a constructor and we're gonna put that like right there. And now we're gonna connect them with oh, this your right. conveyor belt. So now it's processing the ore and it's just taking it right on over to here. So let's turn on the constructor here and let's tell it to just make iron plates for a while. So now it's just making the iron plates as they come through. See, isn't that nice? Just keeps on going. Nothing's connected here on the other end <laughs> so I would like just open it up and I would like take the iron plates for now. But what I want to do is figure out how to get this guy to deliver stuff right into there so I don't even have to touch this stuff. For now, though, we're trying to do hub upgrade four. Upgrade hub. Oh, I bet this miner thing is how we do it. Cool, we have two of these things now. Okay, so we're going to select hub upgrade five. This is the next thing we need to do. Our objectives are not all that crazy. It's just a lot more of what we were already building. As great as this guy's been, we are going to replace it with this miner here. We're going to put it right there like that. There we go. Let's go ahead and make <laughs> some more conveyor belts. So that's going to go from there over to there like that. See, there we go. Now it's just gonna it's mine that upgrade. and I don't have to do anything. So while this production's going on, I think it would behoove me to find some copper ore around here. 100 meters and some change away, this one up here is as close as we're gonna get. So first, let's get the good stuff out of the way here. Yeah, you know, that's not too far away. We'll just, you know, conveyor belt it all the way over there. Okay, so that was <laughs> kind of a taste how the game is supposed to be played, but I think with this next machine, we can find a way to make it a little bit more, um, our style. Let's go on a magical journey. Okay, let's take it to about 
there. Oh yeah. How stupid will this game let me get? Like, can I just run this around? It's like, no, don't stop it. So let's see if I like put it like that. There we go. Okay. So we'll put that like that. And now I'll use you to turn. Great. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Yeah. Yep. 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 Don't fight me on this. Okay. Okay. I love watching it catch up with me too. Oh, can I thread the needle under it? Oh yeah, we can. <laughs> see if we can't get that. Is that efficient? Back up here. All right. So if I put a ramp like this. Oh yeah, these ramps are gonna allow for a next level nightmare. Let's connect you over. Oh yeah. Wait, can I have it? Oh, that's just the finest. You can rest the conveyor belt on another conveyor belt. Compliments to the chef. This might take a little doing because the game wants to do this the correct way. Okay. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so put it right there like that. Obviously, it should have to loop <laughs> back around and through. It's like tying your shoes, except it's a conveyor belt. So it wouldn't really be us to like just really run a wire nightmare. from here to there there, which is what we need to do for power. So we're gonna do it the way I see that will look the most cosmetically appealing. You know, I thought it would look worse than it does. It actually, I mean, it, it's stupid, <laughs> but at least there's some uniformity to it. Yeah, and then we're just like gonna columns. have one long one that goes from here all the way to home base. Okay, so we're gonna put our smelter right there, looking great. And we'll actually connect that <laughs> so that it actually does something. We're gonna put the constructor a little bit further away. By the way, can't you level out and create some kind of concrete base before you put something. I mean, throwing that on the grass kind of feels weird. Like, okay, this is how the factory is happening. Then we'll go ahead and connect the conveyor belt in the most roundabout way possible here. Okay, let's turn on the machine and I'll tell you how long it takes. It's coming to life. Here comes the first piece of ore. It's already been a minute 45 oh and this God. is how far the ore has gotten. Is gonna All you gotta through? do when you're making these <laughs> conveyor belts is you have to ask yourself, what would an LA freeway look like? <laughs> Here we are three minutes in. The most beautiful piles of copper ore you've ever seen. I'm really pleased to see oh it's able God. to clear this little hump here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This is the very first piece of ore to make it. You want to know how long it took to get here? Five minutes, 15 seconds. Oh, but its journey isn't done yet. It's still got to go down this conveyor belt too. There it goes. The very first pile of ore finishing its long journey. It only took six and a half minutes. <laughs> and there we go. And now we just need 500 wire. Oh, storage container. Look at this. Oh yeah, we're going to need one of these for sure. Well, no sense in stopping the nightmare now. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we'll just put that right there like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why am I like this? Okay, and now this. Wait, can I really just extend it all the way over there? Oh yeah, look at that. The journey of these spools is a cruel one. Oh my god. Before, I, I was like kind of hoping for it, but I didn't really believe it. But this is like Factorio 3D, right? I mean, obviously the extreme Factorio players might disagree with that. But at the, at the surface of it, look at all the conveyor belts and all the crap you can do. How long you can make it, all this contraption. This kind of feels like Factorio when you see Factorio with all the fucking thing. This is like 3D version of it. I mean, is this game really famous, Satisfactory? This is the first time hearing of it. They need to get up to that little container up there. Their journey takes them all the way over here, past this, goes <laughs> right up around here. Nice tight little He's bed right clip there. Or something. Back down, all the way over here, and finally to their home. You know, at this point, I feel like this section right here is a little lacking. Ah, there we go. That's much better. Like, this opening just needs to connect to this opening. So obviously, the journey that should take is go all the way around, past the thing that's actually being produced, underneath the thing that's being produced all the way around over up and then finally it goes to where it's being produced i mean let's be honest you could connect one thing to another but <laughs> factory shareholder when they come to visit they need to see things working i guess like oh look at that work's being done it's not so simple <laughs> right that makes all the sense in the world doesn't it <laughs> Okay, now that we've I'll created that abomination, let's go ahead and finally finish hub upgrade five. And as a quick refresher, the things we needed were iron plates, iron rods, copper wire, and concrete. Here's your spools, here's your rods, plates, and here's your concrete. Upgrade. Well, that's exciting looking. So the thing that got added here is something called MAM, the molecular analysis machine, where I can go ahead and give it some of the things that I've collected over time. Let's go ahead and give it a pale berry right now and see what happens. Begin analysis. Cool. It'll analyze 
analyze it for the next five minutes. Hopefully we'll get some more information on it. So we finished tier zero. Over here we've got tier one where they give us new milestones that we're supposed to reach. Tier two, it also looks like we've got some other fun stuff. An assembler, a rotor for making a motor, chainsaw, jump pads. Chainsaw. We've only really touched upon some of the things that we can do here. But let me know if you want to see more satisfactory. Ooh, I understand now. So I guess you start with a stunner type of thing if you encounter some wildlife. But eventually do, but doing all this shit, you'll unlock like chainsaws and better weapons, right? For you to navigate lands and, you know, kill you know animals and shit. <laughs> this is good. This game is a blast. I want to promise to you that I won't make everything look this stupid in the future, but I think we all know we're just going to try and make it look even dumber. And hey, we can, we can say what we want, <laughs> but it <laughs> Why is this thing stuck? Really works. Kinda. So that's going to do it for this episode of Let's Game It Out. As always, Why I am Josh, stuck? and I will see you next time. Wait a bit, so <laughs> the overlapping belts, I guess, is causing issues, so they're getting stuck, huh? Man, this is so good. Holy shit, I didn't know about this game. This is really good. <laughs> it's gonna be fun watching that on, what, nine more videos to, about this, right? From Let's Game It Out. He's gonna take this to a whole another level, <laughs> I guess. Alright. If you like my reaction, do for like, subscribe, so I know which type of videos to react to more. Uh, check out the reaction, there's a link in the description. Check out the classic thing, cards. Yeah, I'll see you next time.